I'm meteorologist Evan Stewart. It's Thursday, October 8th, and we have another update on Hurricane Delta. The 2 o'clock advisory is in from the National Hurricane Center with winds of 105 miles per hour. But looking at this satellite, seeing that eye becoming more well-defined, and as we zoom in, you can really see those thunderstorms firing up. I wouldn't be surprised if by the 5 o'clock advisory, we see those winds adjusted up. Hurricane hunters are out there investigating the storm right now. Giving you a little bit of a wider view of the system, you can see it's really covering much of the western portion of the Gulf of Mexico. Storm is moving to the northwest right now at 13 miles per hour, so it's a Category 2 storm about 370 miles south of Cameron, Louisiana. It is expected to strengthen. That's the forecast to get up to 115 mile per hour winds by tomorrow morning, working its way towards the Louisiana coastline, making landfall late into the afternoon or into the early evening on a Friday and then quickly weakening as it moves off towards the northeast to a remnant area of low pressure over western portions of Kentucky and Tennessee as we go into the day on Sunday. So let's talk about some of the specific alerts that are out for the storm. We have the hurricane warning from eastern Texas all the way through the central Louisiana coastline and everywhere in orange are tropical storm warnings. And notice that the hurricane warnings go all the way up to central Louisiana and the tropical storm warnings go almost up to the Arkansas state line. And we even have some tropical storm watches here through parts of Mississippi as well. We also have tropical uh, a storm surge warning here from eastern parts of Texas through much of the Louisiana coastline, even into southern Mississippi. And right around New Orleans, there is a storm surge watch. As we take a look at some of the expected storm surge with this storm, anywhere that you see the yellows, that's greater than three feet of storm surge. The orange greater than six feet and the red greater than nine. And you can see some areas of red down here just south and east of Lake Charles and over here towards uh, Vermilion Bay. So they are expecting in some places between seven to 10 feet of storm surge. And especially here along Vermilion Bay, if the storm makes landfall back here close to Lake Charles, again, those winds initially will be coming in out of the southeast and that will just push the water up into the bay. And that's why we have some of the potential for some of the greatest storm surge there just south uh, or just around the uh, Vermilion Bay area. Now there have been nine uh, tropical systems that have made landfall so far this year. This one will be the 10th. That's the most we've ever had. And so far three of those have made landfall in Louisiana. We had Cristobal, we had Marco, and we had Laura. Marco just sort of skirted the southern edge, but of course Laura was the one that did so much damage there through parts of uh, Lake Charles. So here's the path that Laura took. Here's where Delta is right now. Watch what happens with Delta's forecast path. Almost exactly the same place coming on shore where we had Laura make landfall and then working its way off towards the north and east. But again, this would be a devastating situation for that area because they're still recovering. It's only been about two months since they had Laura and now we have Delta that they're going to have to deal with, which is potentially another major hurricane making landfall in almost the exact same place as another system just two months ago. Rainfall forecast, this is over the next five days. We're looking at right along the path, anywhere from six to 10 inches of rain, some locally higher amounts, and even up into Arkansas, four to six inches of rain, two to four once you get back through parts of Mississippi. But again, some very heavy rain, that's one of the big concerns. And here's what it looks like as far as the computer model goes. There's that forecast track of the system. And notice Cameron picking up nearly 10 inches of rain. Eight and a half in Lake Charles, Alexandria, seven and a half, seven and a quarter in Monroe, and even Shreveport picking up five inches of rain or so. So some very heavy rain associated with the storm. The other thing we're watching are those winds. This is the odds or the probabilities of seeing 40 mile per hour winds. You can see Lake Charles as we get into Friday evening and into Saturday morning, pretty much guarantee that you're going to have a winds of at least 40 miles per hour. Same thing for Lafayette, Alexandria, and even into Beaumont, Texas. And then we also have the 74 mile per hour winds, a little bit of a better chance for seeing that there as well, especially as we get into Saturday. Now this is the earliest 25th named storm on record. Their last 25th named storm, the only time we've gotten this far, was on November 15th in 2005. And this is the strongest Greek alphabet named storm. And it'll be the 10th storm to make U.S. landfall in the continental U.S., breaking the old record of nine set back in 1916. Of course, we'll keep you updated and have all the latest information on 13 News Now, 13newsnow.com, and on our YouTube channels.